All right, today we're going to cover the Universal Robot. This is a collaborative robot that, uh, you know, if it bumps into you, it'll automatically stop. So it doesn't need a light fence around it. So it can work with human beings. That's why they call it a collaborative robot. Um, and there's the controller down there. And then it has this control panel, just a touchscreen control panel. And when it comes on, you'll have to do something like in this corner, this will be red. So you press that to make it, and then this menu will come up, and you hit start, and then it'll have a yellow thing here, so you hit start again, and then it, it gets all the motors to click. Then you know it's working. So we have that set, uh, so we can exit the screen. So it's just a touch panel, so we press exit. Then um, <clears throat> you try to see if you can do a new program. So we'll say new. And as you can see, it's light gray, so it's not working. So that means we got to set up some other stuff. So we go back here, we click that again, get rid of it, or just touch there. Where it says automatic, you press on automatic. And press harder. There we go, and we click manual. And then we have to put in a password, so I'll type in a password. You don't need to know this. But let me just put it real quick. Um, and then hit submit. Then you'll have access. Now if we do our programs, we'll have access to it. But the other thing too is this has a special gripper on it uh, from Robotique. I don't know if you can read that, that black gripper part, the part that grabs the actual part there. And so we have to turn that on, so because that's a special attachment. And that's this thing that says UR Plus. So we press that, and then we say activate. And, it, and as you can see, it moved a little bit and opened up. And then to turn it off, you just press the the UR down there again and then it goes away. So this UR plus, you just hit that icon again and that gets rid of it. All right, so now we're ready to program. So we go new, then we go program, and then it starts up like that. So then it's gonna want what they call, if you look at, you wanna be on the basic. Uh, it already has the move to, so we wanna be able to move things, so robot program. So we go move, and then it gives us our first waypoint. So these are the points that your robot goes to. They call them waypoints. So uh, then you just click on the waypoint, and then you set the waypoint. And then it gives you this. You can either move it manually through these arrows, and this the TPC is the tool center point. That's from moving the actual tool where the gripper is. Don't worry about that. And this will move it like, let's say if I press this arrow, and see how the robot's going up now? And then if I press it down, there it's going down. So, and then same with these other controls. But the best way to do it is, and I'll let my trusty assistant hold that, is to go on the back, put your hand through this so you don't drop it, is to press this black button on the back. And then when you do that, see it says free drive active comes up. Then you can just move it where you want. So I can just take this thing and move it. So I'm just going to move it. I'll move it over this here. So this will be my first point. And then I let go and I say OK. So that is my first point. Then I want it to go straight down, but it's going to hit. See, this gripper is wider then the space between these blocks <clears throat> so I can change the gripper so what do I do I go to UR caps UR caps is the gripper and we want this gripper we don't have a vacuum operated one we just have a regular one and there's the gripper so then we do edit action because yeah you'll do this you go hey it won't work so the only thing that works is the edit action and what we want it to do, we want it to open, but we don't want it to open this far. So I can come around this way. 
watch when I hit the close. I just barely hit the close a little bit. See how it closes up a little bit? If you can get it around 45, now it's at 42, so that's okay. Between, you know, 30 and 50, but this is actually good. See, that way, when it comes down, it's not going to hit the other block. And so we say, save this action. So now, that is part of the program. So you have your waypoint, it's above it. Uh, is it focusing? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then it says it's moving the gripper in 42%. All right, so now we're going to want uh, another waypoint. So we have to go back to our basic, basic programming. So we're just going to have basic program. We're going to flip back to basic and the UR caps because that's the gripper. Now, normally you could just do it with um, uh, inputs and outputs through set and that for the gripper. But this gripper is a full-blown extra special gripper and it has its own setting so we don't set it through inputs and outputs alright so we have that set now we want to bring it down so we need another waypoint so we click waypoint and see how it lights up here's the other thing too so I don't forget when it's in yellow that means the program will not run until you set these coordinates so once your programs all done if there's any yellow in it that means you gotta go back click on it and do whatever it tells you to over there. Now it's saying we need to set the waypoint, so we need to lower it. So we set the waypoint, and this we can just lower probably just doing it this way. See how it's going down? We don't actually have to push it down. That's probably good. Have it, you know, or maybe it's three eighths of an inch above the the actual base. All right. So then we say okay. Then we want to close the gripper. So to close the gripper, we go to the UR caps again on the bottom. Gripper. And edit action. And then we just go close. And I guess i got to press it harder. There, and it should close. And if it presses too hard where it moves the thing, you can adjust the force on it a little bit. So we can minimize the force a little bit. Yeah, that's a little too much. But we'll say, we'll keep it at 35, 40%, that should be good. And then you save the action. Really won't let you go anywhere, so that's kind of good. So we've closed the gripper. Now we want to move the thing up. So what do we have to do? We go to basic again, and waypoint. And now we have this new waypoint, so we want to go above. So to go above, we can say set waypoint, and then just go with this. You don't have to press the shift key at the same time like the other programs. Much easier. Then we can just set that and say OK. Then you're probably going to want another waypoint, right? Because we're going to go over to the conveyor. So that one, when it's a big thing, that I would press the button for. Press the button, and we'll move it with our arm. And what's that? What's good about that is you can actually move, twist the gripper too. Turn that up as well. And so that's above it. You want it above first, because if not, if it comes down at an angle, it'll hit this, or it'll hit the sensor here, and make for a big mess. Then I let go. I say set waypoint, and I hit OK. I press OK there, and we're good. So if it's all, there's no yellow, we don't need to set the waypoint again. That means we need to add another waypoint, because that, that is the last waypoint. If nothing's been done to it, it'll be in yellow, but it's done. So we do another waypoint. Press that. Oh, I put too many. I didn't even see it. Now, let's say I did put too many. All you do is do this undo key. See it down here? This is real user friendly. It's not like the other ones. There. Now we just have one waypoint, which we'll bring down. And to do that, we click on waypoint to get it back active again. Set waypoint, and we can just go down. And let's, well, maybe a hair over. Just so it doesn't go boom. Okay, and then we say okay. Okay. Then we want to open the gripper, or it's not going to do anything. 
so UR caps down here, gripper, edit action, that's the only thing it'll let you do, and then open gripper. Close. There we go. And sometimes it sticks, but it'll eventually fall. And then we'll say save action. Especially when you start moving the uh, ripper again. There we go. Fell. So, uh, then we want this conveyor to move. So how do we get the conveyor to move? We go to basic again. And we say set, and we say set digital output, and then we click on the, the down arrow key there, and click on conveyor. That's already set up, and you want it on high. High means it'll turn on. So once it comes over here, then the next thing it's going to do after it opens the gripper is the next command is to turn on the conveyor automatically. <coughs> So it's set. Then we are going to want it uh, to run the conveyor and then turn off when the sensor picks it up, which is input threes. So outputs, we use our set command here, and inputs, we use our wait command. So that would run, so you can test it by, by running the thing, but yeah, we'll let it run. So I click this test button, and it's going to keep running until I stop it. So that means I need to go to wait, and then I'm going to go to wait for digital input, and I'm going to put input 3, digital input 3, and I'm going to put that on high, so when it sees it, it'll turn off. Now it's not going to turn off yet, that's just saying... You'll see if you come over here, you'll see there's a red dot on that. So that means the sensor is seeing it. The little laser red dot on this cube here. As you can see down there, that's saying it's seeing it. So then we do the set again. And we set our digital output to conveyor again. And this time we put low and test. And if we test, that's what the low means. Low turns off something, high means it's on. And then that should be set. And that's all the time we have. We can have it do the whole palette and all that. So then if you want to test your program, uh, you can just hit play. But first we'll move it to the top. And it's going to loop this thing forever. Well, we don't want it to loop. Like on the other programs, you'll have to hit jump to a label and a label this just you just push press the box and it's going to automatically loop it but we don't want it to loop because it's just going to go back to the same block again the other blocks going to be sitting here so then we just hit the play and you see play but you have to first move it to your first point so you press this button here and then see watch the robots moving over to its first point then we'll put the block back there. Then we will hit play program. Or press play, play program. And then it should work, hopefully. And that's how you write a program. And so your program should look like that. And that's it.